River State Governor Nyeson Wike has announced the temporary lifting of the total lockdown of Obiapo and Potakot City local government areas for two days, with effect from Tuesday 12 through Wednesday 13 and reinstates on Thursday 14 May 2020. The news is no doubt welcomed by many people in the affected area. A lot of people are becoming conscious of what is going on and that is very, very important. Because when people are conscious of what is going on, then even if they go out to shop, they will be able to take those precautions. We also need to be a bit careful because the market we have in our country are not departmental stores built. This is our traditional market that everybody, so there cannot be social distancing. While all hospitals and financial institutions in the state are expected to provide essential services during the relapse of the lockdown, all precautionary measures the governor say must not be compromised. People will be happy to uh, be able to pick a few things before Thursday. I can bet you that as we we are going out tomorrow, people will freely mingle, people will not observe social distancing, people will not do all the things that are expected of them, and in the end, both the lockdown and the relaxing of the lockdown amounts to nothing. It's a waste of time. It's a charade. It's, it's for me, decisions that are informed by nothing. Is there any legal side to the lockdown and the two-day window? There's no enforcement without a legal backing. You cannot, the laws that they are banking on, the Quarantine Act of uh, 1926 states that the penalty is 200 naira or six months imprisonment. The other laws, even when Funke Akindele was caught in Lagos, the penalty was 100,000 naira fine or um, community service, not imprisonment. These respondents are urging citizens to abide by all COVID-19 precautions to contain the spread of the virus. In Port Harcourt, Osinachi Abraham, NTA News.